Welcome back to Keller's Grill Zebo. I got a good one for you today. I got this friend named Bears Garcia. He brings me this big hunk of meat, big old slab of meat. I said, what kind of meat is this? He said, it's Sasquatch. I said, Sasquatch? He said, yeah, Sasquatch. I said, okay, who am I to say you're lying? And anyway, what we did was we had to put this thing, it was a really lean piece of meat. So we put it through a grinder with some beef fat and we ground it up and made some ground Sasquatch out of it. So anyway, what I decided to do with it was make a big foot. Stick around, see what I did. And there we have it. We got our ground Sasquatch, about two pounds, with a little bit of beef fat ground in there with it. And this is what I'm gonna add to it. I'm gonna put some onion in there, some Italian seasoning, black pepper, a little bit of cayenne pepper because we got to add a little bit of something in there and some garlic powder it's going to be a little gamey it's a sasquatch so we're talking about wild game i might even put a little bit of this smoked paprika in there i don't know we'll see we got to throw some breadcrumbs in there too it helps keep it all together all right here we go we're going to add some garlic We're going to get a good heaping helping of this garlic. I'll even flip it over and put some more in there. Some cayenne. Ooh, it hasn't even been open yet. You know what? I got some up here. I got some right here that's already open. We need to use this up first anyway. Oh, I think that's going to be enough. I'll put a little zip in there. We got some coarse ground black pepper. Got to get some black pepper in there. Oh, yeah, that's probably going to... Yeah, that'll probably do. Some of these Italian seasonings. I love Italian seasonings. Makes everything better. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get a little bit of salt. Put some salt in there, too. All right. Now I want to just get my hand in there and mix it up. Come here, you. Flip that around, get some on the inside. A little bit of smoked paprika in there now. I like that little smoky flavor that smoked paprika gives. Also adds a nice mahogany color to the finished product. Get this stuck in there and grind it up and mash it up and get those seasonings all together. Well, we're going to make a little bowl now. A little bowl out of the meat. I'm going to add some breadcrumbs. Got to put some breadcrumbs in there to help it stay together. Gives a little bit of stability in our Sasquatch. Bigfoot. All right. That's that for now. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to cut that onion up and put it in there. There we go. Nice yellow onion there. Pretty thing. So anyway, we're going to set this one aside, and we're going to work with this just for the time being. We're going to take that paper skin off of it, get this on there. Now what I want to do right here, this is where it gets interesting. This is fun. We're going to take this right there we're gonna cut a little piece of pie this little piece of pie right out in the middle of that onion right there and then we're gonna take these and these are gonna be our toenails our Sasquatch toenails for our Bigfoot we're gonna have some toenails for this Sasquatch we got the little bitty baby toenail. 
We got various sizes here. We'll get, you know, big toe to little toe. Get them in there. Look at that. Five toes, big foot. All right, let's get to chopping. All right, there we go. I got that half an onion chopped up right there. We're gonna get it inside that meat. Okay, we got those onions in that Sasquatch meat. We got them in the bowl here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a couple of eggs, crack them in here, because, well, eggs are like glue, the glue. They're gonna keep the Bigfoot together. Now we're just gonna stick our hand in there, get those eggs up there, get up there, you. Make a little divot there. Get that egg in there. There we go. Mix it up. Get some onions in there, some onions. All right, we're ready to transfer this Sasquatch to this pan, baking sheet. We're just gonna plop it on there. Get the rest of this goodness out of here. Stick it right on there somewhere. And then we start forming. Well, let's see. That look like a good shape? Sure, that looks like a good shape. I'm not sure I like all those onions sticking out the top like that, but what what can I possibly do? Let's see. I think that's a better side right there. I'm going to match this down a little bit. Let's say, let's say this is going to be the little toe. I got a littler one than that. Let's stick it in there like that. That's a little toenail. That's the second one. That's two toes. And we all know Bigfoot got five toes, right? Now that looks like a big foot if I've ever seen one. All right, it's been a half an hour. We're gonna check this thing for internal temperature. We're at 131, 132. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go ahead and paint this thing with a little Sasquatch blood. We're going to cover a little bit of Sasquatch blood. We paint them toenails. All right, so we've had this in for about a half an hour now. I'm going to stick it back in for another half hour. Now, I've used the convection uh, mode on my oven. So it gets a good flow of air around it. And uh, we'll check it here in a little bit. All right, it's been about another 20 minutes. I'm going to check the temperature and see where we're at. We're at 165 easily. 167. 168. I think this Bigfoot is done. Got ourselves a bona fide, genuine, authentic Sasquatch Bigfoot. We're just going to go ahead and put a little bit more of this Sasquatch blood on here. Cover it a little bit more. Make it nice and nummy. Now 
and then we'll let it cool down and slice into it taste it see how it is all right we're going to cut into it we let it rest for about 10 15 minutes we cut a slice out good that looks good let's give it a try mm. that tastes pretty good Sasquatch, Bigfoot, Bigfoot meatloaf, Southern baked Bigfoot. You got to give it a try. See you next time. Keller's Grill Zebo.